to yeah. Jane now. Jane, your next question. Thank you. Next one. Yes, I had a couple of a uh, couple of questions for you guys. Um, so just in terms of um, like working people with taxes and obviously home interest rates going up, what are you guys going to do to sort of change that to obviously make us vote for you guys? Chris Minns, yeah, cost of living you. question. Thanks for your question. Obviously, I know many families right across New South Wales are doing it extremely tough. Businesses are doing it tough as well. Inflation is between 7 and 8%. And I need to tell you, New South Wales is the highest taxing jurisdiction in Australia. Tolls are up, taxes are up, fees are up, fines are up, charges are up. And I know for many people, they're doing it extremely tough. It's one of the reasons why we've committed to a $60 toll cap in Sydney for those that use motorways. For small businesses in particular who I know are getting smashed as a result of energy prices, we're going to have a $315 rebate for them to keep their doors open. I've spoken to hot bread shops and small businesses right across New South Wales that say their biggest input cost at the moment is energy price spikes. So they're the immediate measures that we're going to pursue as well as a massive tax cut for first home buyers. We're going to lift the stamp duty threshold from $650,000 all the way up to $800,000 you won't pay any stamp duty for a property below that number. But I think the best thing we could do for the long-term future of cost of living in New South Wales is stop the madness of privatisation. Because privatisation, directly in relation to ports, directly in relation to energy and toll roads, has meant you pay more in user charges just for living and working in a place like Sydney or a place like New South Wales. So we've given a commitment in relation to Sydney Water and Essential Energy. I note the Premier spoke about infrastructure, it's important to note, Warragamba Dam that he says he'll build, it's not in the budget, $3 billion. He says he'll build the Northern Beaches Tunnel, $10 billion. A tunnel underneath the Blue Mountains, $10 billion. More metros for Western Sydney? Well, none of that is in the budget. And the only way you can build that kind of infrastructure if it's completely unfunded is to privatise assets owned by you, the people of New South Wales. We just won't do it. Let's hear from the Premier well, on that well, cost Jane, of living firstly, firstly, that's not That's not correct, but let me, let me address uh, your issue uh, firstly. There's no doubt, as I've said, families across New South Wales are doing it incredibly tough now and right around the country. And because of our strong financial management here in our state, we're able to provide those cost of living relief, <clears throat> relief measures through Service New South Wales. And I'd say... If you haven't been to the Service New South Wales website, to go on that savings finder because there are so many measures there uh, to help. We'll have $250 off every energy bill um, in New South Wales. Um, other cost of living measures that we have in place is putting the uh, cap on public transport, that Opal card cap, reducing it from $50 to $40, and that will save people up to $480 um, this year. In addition, I know those back-to-school vouchers are helping so many mums and dads uh, across our state with those costs associated with school uniforms and school shoes, uh, our active kids and creative kids and first lap vouchers enable children to learn to swim for the first time, get involved in sport. And I don't want any family, any family at all in our great state, in these difficult economic times, to pull back on investing um, in their children. And you know, when it comes to privatisation, as Chris has said, we have, we have ruled that out. But ultimately... The, the decisions that we've made in the past have been able to turbocharge the infrastructure investment that we have right now across our state, supporting 160,000 people in work. Uh, we have the lowest unemployment rate in the country at 3.2%. If you want a job in New South Wales, uh, you can get a job. 